Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the first London Open Source Risk Five Meetup for 2021. I'm uh, Jeremy Bennett. Um, I'm chair of the British Computer Society Open Source Specialist Group, who hosts this particular meetup. Uh, all meetups have their own um, particular character um, because of who we are. The London Risk Five meetup has always focused on open source, so we tend to have talks that are looking at the particularly at the open source aspects of uh, Risk Five. Um, I'll give a brief overview of Risk Five in a moment for those of you who are new to the project, um, but in the uh, but the then we'll begin to the meat of the talks. We have Michael Gielder. Uh, one of the founders of Amp Micro um, and a uh, big active player in the whole Risk Five International movement, who will be talking about TensorFlow Lite Micro and Edge AI algorithms on Risk Five. That leads nicely into a talk from a group at Southampton University who have extended the Open Hardware Group's Core Five Risk Five architecture with some vector instructions that greatly improve its AI performance. And we look forward to hearing about that. And our third and final talk um, is from Chris Williams in San Francisco, talking about Diosix, the uh, bare metal uh, RISC-V uh, hypervisor. Um, all our talks will be recorded. So uh, for those of you um, who want to come back, you can revisit the talks, but you can also share with your friends um, who missed the talks. They'll all be on the BCS Open Source Specialist Group uh, YouTube channel later. So before Michael, let's just give a quick um, update on uh, Risk v um, This meeting is intended to be a conversation. Please use the public uh, chat uh, for uh, anything uh, that you wish to discuss. Uh, if you wish to speak, that's fine. Uh, the convention is turn on your camera and unmute and we'll know you want to say something. Our, uh, uh, so the first slide is just to give you a summary. Um, risk five goes back to um, ideas that came out of Berkeley, uh, particularly from Chris Sonovich and Dave Patterson around 2010 to look at what should the next generation of risk processor use. Of course, Dave Patterson part of the uh, original Risk One project, and though they weren't called Risks Two, Three, and Four, there have been projects out of Berkeley, um, which are their second, third, and fourth generation of risk. So Risk Five was the fifth generation of Berkeley risk architecture, and it very much became a goal to become something that would be the culmination that would be the definitive risk architecture that would meet the needs of the world for the foreseeable future. Uh, that became public in 2011, became taped out and a reference architecture, the ro first rocket chip about 2012, which clearly demonstrated this was a winning architecture. Um, in and the big presentation in the public was at Hot Chips in 2014, and shortly after the Risk Five Foundation was incorporated, and big players started to come on board. Nvidia, um, uh, uh, Sci Five, Western Digital, the architectures developed, and the whole point is it was always conceived of as an extensible architecture, and so we've seen a privileged version of the architecture to give you security done, and various extensions, and indeed one of the talks today will touch specifically on one of the standard extensions. Uh, in that process, uh, about a year ago, uh, RISC-V Foundation became RISC-V International and incorporated in Geneva rather than in the United States. That gave various benefits. So we are actually a, a, a global organization with our legal headquarters in uh, Geneva. Okay. It's an Risk five. It's an open source architecture specification. Anyone can implement a Risk five chip. Some people are implementing ones that are private and proprietary. You can buy them. Others are implementing free and open source 
risk five chips and we've heard about some of those uh in past meetings here but the important thing is that this project is becoming mainstream and this is a little out of date um so it's an even bigger slide now but these are just the companies around the world apart you can see very big companies here you can see very small companies here you can see a, a wide range of academic organizations eth zurich in europe uh, university of bologna in europe and so forth um and so we are a huge community um you can join risk five international as a big company as a small company you can even become an individual uh, contributor um, if you want to know more go look up risk five um, in google it will point you in the right direction you can go to the website you can sign up you can find there and our deliberations are done in public so you'll find a, the risk five organization on github huge number of repositories where you can see all the work that's going on and you can participate um, i'll take any questions now from anyone who wants to ask about risk five um i think many people here are very familiar with risk five which is why i have very much abbreviated this talk i will leave you one thing just to say the british computer society is uh the professional body re re representing the it industry in the uk founded under royal charter just over 60 years ago um and the open source specialist group which i chair is one of its many specialist groups and with 1600 members we are by far the largest professional body for open source engineering in the uk as well as hosting a number of organizations including this risk five quarterly meetup we have our regular monthly meeting our next meeting regular meetings this thursday it's actually the same link as this meeting so you don't you can just use the same link again on open source video games two great talks there looking at open source video games and our february meeting we'll be looking at open sourcing automotive a subject we haven't addressed for some time so with that i will make uh, michael gielder the presenter and hand over to him for our first talk thank you very much <laughs>